As the demand for food grows globally, one needs to position themselves for the growing market of agricultural products. Farming has once again become one of the most lucrative business opportunities in the world today. With alarming population growth rates and the demand and cost for food daily increasing, commercial farming has once again taken a turn to advancement. In this new age of information and technology, those engaged in agriculture or commercial farming don't have to fear the industry. FACOM Uganda Limited has made great efforts in equipping Ugandans with both the technical know-how and the specialized labor to ensure full returns from commercial farming. Farming is a business and it should be run as one. Zeiga Patrick, let's go farming. Let's do farming as a business. Let's do farming as a business. Ask yourself 1. Do you desire to start farming but lack the knowledge and the drive? 2. Are you too busy to dedicate ample time to commercial farming in order to maximize returns? 3. Is your farming project mismanaged or too expensive to maintain? 4. Have you failed to maximize profit from farming despite your input? 5. Do you need professional advice and management as regard to farming? And 6. Do you need land for higher or purchase to start commercial farming? Then Fakum is the answer. Never Echitegeza, njia kusoro kufuga, e moto kajie njia gale inyirida, nsoro habana bango batu wala musoro liba gala, gana ama papari na habana bango njia batu wala Harvard University. Guwa chinga ntunda ma papari. Kakati, atena nabwe na batu wala Harvard University, elana bonge bagi enda kusome echi intuchimu, agribusiness. Eyo ye Uganda wetuse. FACOM, Uganda Limited, was founded in 2006. It is a fully registered company that provides farming consultation and management services. Our mission is to promote commercial farming through advising and encouraging local production in Uganda. We are specialists and professionals in commercial farming, ensuring the best returns and service delivery for our clients. With the latest farming advancements and knowledge, FACOM ensures the best service delivery, farm management, consultation services, training, books and publication, and value addition in Uganda. Our vision is to maximize wealth from land in the 21st century. We can't afford. Omuni mewa budi joto inza kuchisobola. O kujakera ngatu kuata ganyenga group. Na yenge nyanya e kire mo sawolo jiri mira ku ekte ya zimuna ana. Essence is value. Kubanga wali mekte ya zimuna ana. Kunga waguze sige milioni bibiri mo ana. Ujamo akawumbi kamu na ichitun. Objectives of Fakom are to carry out profitable commercial and crop farming to market agricultural produce through buying and selling the produce and finding suitable market both internationally and locally, loaning out and selling agricultural inputs and resources like tools and seeds, offering farm consultation services, dissemination of information as regard to marketing of produce and pricing, adding value to agricultural produce through processing. 
as a consultation firm, FACOM offers professional advice that will equip you to generate income from your commercial farming projects. With experts that have both the advantage of experience and field expertise, FACOM offers 1. Advice on the fertility of land, soil testing and crops that can best suit growth on that land, determination of the best and appropriate sowing and harvesting seasons. We also deal with labor management, recruitment, training and remuneration at the farm, consultation on farm infrastructure and setup of buildings like road infrastructure, water and irrigation pumps, electricity, perimeter fencing, etc. We also give consultation on land management and utilization, irrespective of the size we can help you maximize returns. We also deal in pest control and prevention. We offer advice on intercropping and plant grafting, advice on the best fertilizers and manures that will best suit your land and crops. We also help in farm animal maintenance and proper animal feed. Farming consult and management company. When we move to the right one, we choose. We let the land. We are senior. We are not rich. We need to cover the camp. Now you go for one. The children, the children, the children, the children. We are going to swamp area. See, I'm not sure. We are going to take my bag. My bag is covered. The area, my bag. We are going to swamp. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. We are going to go to the other side. Amazi yenkuwa nipo yetu nyo kumare wii kikamba kakasi, nipo imaro mwezi. Amazi ya teka somora kutula wali yeli. Muna wabi nubi muoze yu kambara wai se mazi gajula. Eyo urusi muita na government hivyo wawo korela. Ne here we do it fefe njina. No sarao no ganti no, ne tute menyala. Tusoguro kutu kwa gaya. Kumanga wako ni mina wake ndete. Tetuche ayono na chisenyi. E chisenyi nwe wachi wachi juda amazi, nwe wachi wachi tunu wachitia. Tusoguro kuchichu usa, ne chifuko urukaru. Amazi netuga wa systemu ya ago, mga waga itira. So, Neyanzi za neyanzi, kikatika tuwe yongere yawa, tulabebi dirida. Yeah, my name is Wanzala Nathan, I'm a Mugisu, and I was so fortunate to have met Mr. Iga from FACOM. FACOM is basically a farming and consultancy farm, and they really do what they call education, agricultural education. If you have any question to ask, they are going to answer it. I've been confident enough to confide myself in him and in a few weeks I've been with him. Trust me, I think I've gained wealth that the youth out there need to know about farming. Some of us have left the city and uh, we are not complaining, but some of us are selling off land that is resourceful and should have been used to better their livelihoods. And they are requesting government to come and help they are asking for youth fund. I don't even understand what youth fund is because if I have my two million or even less, I can come and talk to this gentleman and we do a partnership. You know, life is about what you want to make it. If you want to be poor, you're definitely going to be poor. I am a rich person starting from when I met him. I already have acquired a few acres and I intend to expand with him. So come join us. Let's be one. Let's breathe as youths and uh, quite honestly, you're not going to complain. Thank you so much. Fako. Joseph Etomek, and I was introduced to this farm by one of my friends, Nathan. Having heard of a radio, we managed to locate the manager of this farm. There are so many things that we, we have learned in this farm. For instance, uh, the, the way the, the wetlands are transformed and how you harvest that water to store 
before you you can release it to to follow its own route its original route without destroying the environment uh, for instance look at this uh, this, 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 these bushes. Many people have feared to come to these bushes because they imagine that nothing can come out of it. But if you looked be where we came from, you realize that what was a bush is no more, is now a farm, usable. And uh, what you expect out of it is very interesting. One that you would not imagine to have, to have happened. Uh, for, for now, that is, that's what I can tell you. But I would advise that everybody should take this more or less like a hobby. Because what you get out of it is happiness, joy, and so many other things that you may not be able to explain. Unexplainable. Not until you get to this level. <laughs> Yeah, my name is Irene Nakoa. I'm uh, a concerned citizen of this country, first of all. I did not know this is the extent to which farming can go and make you love something you never ever thought you would put your hands on. I am here today under an ordinary circumstance. I've probably been in some office somewhere, planning a small business where the rent is so strange. But when I heard about Fakon, I actually heard about it through my brother, he's called Nathan. He told me about it and I don't know, for some reason, this seemed like the most convincing farming activity I've ever had of. So I took up the initiative, I asked questions, looked at the figures, but I was looking at now, investing now, not looking at how much, because how much was not the problem. It's, it's about being long-sighted, in my opinion. So I wish every Ugandan would take up that spirit and do it like a, do it as a passion, something they love. But you can't love something without looking beyond the eyes, you know. So things like bushes being transformed into an ordinary farm. Someday I'll probably stand in this spot and I'll say I remember this day because I stood here and this is where it all began. So for so many who have seen the light, please hands on. And for those of you who have not. I advise you one thing, just run, because uh, this, this is the oldest business from Bible days. There is no nation that has not transformed from farming, so open the eyes. That's my piece of advice. And I love to appreciate FACOM, because without it I wouldn't have known the networking, the one-on-one -on -one approach in terms of marketing, what is this thing about. For me to see a swamp being trans, tra, tra, uh, transformed into flat, neat gardens. The beauty of a garden, not to be so stressful, is how neat and, maintain, and how neat it's maintained. Because it's just like looking about something beautiful. You want to look at it and look at it some more. You even give it some more because you see, you organize it from the beginning. Everyone be concerned in what you do. Love it and I assure you success. Is the clip is what on, what is the name one says. Thank you. Wow. Is that was my vision? Yeah. It's just more. Now we are doing a cinema for the people who are here. Kusaga, mulekei chibuga chile mwa kubanga chitumize Na yetu jie kubanga mkulima nze sisu reno Na nge nsula mchibuga angamwe Na yebo nzi jangabwe mundaba Ntula mumuroka yanga atlisti Ne muroka yanga nsolo jite kama wama papari yechi kumi Wachiri yelane nzi na yu ne mituwa rukumi Ne manyanti yaga mafuta mazoga sevinga Na yenga ataba aguzi Banji nze akatara akange kari Nairobi Akatara akange kari Juba Nga ateni nana akatari yebweru wa Uganda Jesi sobo la katikutu uka manguru waji Nti yebweru watu alaka papari ya kenka na weka tisaizi Ntono nyo Our management services include 
specializing in getting your farming project to the best resource utilization and return maximization through our exclusive and thorough management specialized service that includes farm administration and preparation from planting of crop to harvesting and getting the suitable market both locally and internationally. We deal with farm maintenance and caretaking, ensuring proper farm management and utility. We also maintain farm assets and machinery in good and working state, ensuring proper use on the farm. All farm assets entrusted under FACOM shall be maintained for use on the farm or otherwise as instructed by our client. We also ensure proper account keeping and detailed logbooks on all farm assets, training of drivers, operators to properly utilize farm assets and machinery. Regular routine preventive maintenance is carried out by FACOM. Management of all direct and indirect labor utilized on the farm, that is, labor employed on permanent or temporary basis, contractors employed on behalf of the client by FACOM Uganda Limited. We also provide land for hire or purchase for commercial farming. FACOM also ensures strict compliance with farming regulations, environmental laws as regard to managing fauna and flora. <laughs> Na waka wetuli walu waka nukweka chika tolo Muli mwe mboga, muli mwe nyanya Sao kana na seti Nga tonda waku soka kulima mele ya kutundo Soka kuwana kutalo Wagota kukumia seti ya kukulia Ewe seti na memu Zoli na mwe ntolo Zoma no zinyo ezaka tonda waku na uza nyingi Nakasabadde <laughs> Mose ya mzamani, mwode ya zamani, eyo katichechi aliku. Eno mwone ingela amazi gie kule gatuwa la walaku, okusinzi la kufoli mjoo ya gala. Eno alefu mkumansu la amazi, yake temanyeri, jenso sejibara gajemba gambi ya brush. Ene sasa nya amazi, kusipidi nga mwojiraba, ekula mko zibweti, ogalaba. No kuseseri nga mtu, mwojiraba, zino katizeziri modani, mwusi oku lima. Ela mwugando inzo kwe sanganga, Bovato jisanzo wano nizopata jisanga wala Fii Tuga amba abandu Abandu wa singaba ini chibuza 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 ni babuza Luwachi mbuganda temucha alibi toko Luwachi ama toke gase nguka Leka amba puri ama toke te gase nguka nga mbuganda Mwa abali waga kola ko Beba se nguka Nga katonda abajuru de by death kwe kufa Abali bama nye nsuku bafa Membe la yensi nechuka Ebi webi nitu bibili ebi abu za ama toke mu region yawa na mu central region yawa mu Buganda kati uruku banga amatoke gabula kubanga abali bagamanyi bagenda ne nkola osanga bali tukidde kati be bali bade baina system zizino kubanga bo bali bategera makuru go kubane toke na makuru go kubane mmere eye nja wulo yokka uruku mu mete mutegera makuru ga muntu kubana mmere nga ajeri midde bo mwafu na saint ne muroze mmere bagulangule cheke lwachi mujijja mu region zindala zone ziba bulunji Uruo kubanga mwete mwate gila. Nero hiyo ni njala endala na zonu zilabu lakati. Namu wa matoke gajia kusenguka. Senga na mwe temu shiftinge by teknolojia. Senga temu chuka. Na mutindo. Na nkola ampia. Eye nsika chwenye. Eno jemba lagaye nkola ampia. E chitabule evi jimusa. Sengo kwa te evi jimusa bote. No kwa ataka limbo wenkoko. Sengo kwa ato usabu wenkoko. No buteka kuchitoke. No tachiwa mazi. Chenka na nkana no butachiwa. Kubange e chito oke chino chola ba techiri ya usabu wa ante. Elate chisomora buga ya nechikuta. 
Echiletera obusabu ente okukola Chichino wa manga kachichora Chienkola Senga nembe kabu ente Mungalo zani Nenda gwarie yonjaka ronda bebulunji Bwenzili labu ente Obanku diye mbulunji luna Bwenzili labu ente Ngabu olaba Nense tulamu Echele nda Echele mocha labu chifana na Nduwa mazi Agamazo kufuka kala Eya brown Nenga mazi meru Kankudie mwe la station eno munu ndi ogoku vila soroji jeteki Mazi wenda chikamu 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 Gava munga gatu kula Na yese nga ndeta akakere na kitaka ino wendi Katilibale ngobu sabu wendi Nenko labu wendi Nenka tuzamu wendi Neka maro kutoba Bwe kama roo kutoba Neka toba Neka tandiko wendi wendi Gwalie yondozo nengi labu wendi Kutivye Ondaba Bwe maro kuyiwa Ama ziga brown Echo chichi otegera muecho Chitegeza, echi toke techinyo wa mazi, echi toke techiria, echi toke techiria, mchida mugu toko, echi toke, techiria busabu ante, echi toke, chagare echi rungo, echi limu busabu ante, mchida mugu nundi ogoku vili, echi toke techiria busabu ante, echi toke techiria karimbo wankoko, echi toke techiria busabu ambizi, wabule echi toke, chiri evi rungo, evi rungo, Fakum Uganda Limited was founded by Iga Patrick. With both the experience and a technical expertise that spans over 10 years, Mr. Iga Patrick is a bona fide ace in farming. In 2002, Mr. Iga secured a scholarship to study at the Industrial School of Business in Birmingham, UK. He later furthered his studies at the School of Industrial Manufacturing. While in the UK, he did part-time work at a farming institute. It is there he acquired both the knowledge and the passion for farming. He was later motivated to pursue a certificate in farming practices at their demonstration farms. In 2006, Mr. Iga returned to Uganda determined to practice all he had learned from the UK. Equipped with the latest modern farming techniques, Mr. Iga together with his partners acquired 70 acres of land in Cabo Womero and founded FACO. With his passionate tenacity, Mr. Iga aims to popularize commercial farming. Mr. Iga Patrick has also received several awards in his advancements and contribution to farming in Uganda. He has won the Uganda Best Farmer Award. He has also received special recognition from His Excellency, the President of Uganda, Yowari Kaguta Museveni, and other dignitaries from the Netherlands and nationwide. Mr. Iga Patrick's passion for farming has inspired many farmers to do farming as a business. FACOM has played a central role in the promotion of agriculture in the following ways. FACOM initiated a farmers club entitled the Millionaires Farmers Club and now consists of 1,000 registered members. This club has also invested in different projects and it started with 32 acres of pumpkins in 2013 and is now engaged in 52 acres of popo managed by FACOM. Every year in the second week of July, we hold our agricultural exhibition and take people to tour our farms. This exhibition also triples as a farm tours and agricultural seminar and this year has ran from 11 to 13th of July. Every year in the first week of January, we take students to our farms and stay with them for a full week, motivating them to love farming, as well as teaching them what to do as far as our culture is concerned. We also equip them with entrepreneurial skills and other income generating activities. We also hold agricultural talk shows on different radios and TV stations, including Radio CBS FM, Radio Simba every Sunday, Top Radio, Family Radio, and other TV and radio stations. We also publish in the newspapers motivating Ugandans to go back to farming 
and give them information and advice about value addition, modern commercial agriculture, market analysis, post-harvest handling, etc. We have written several agriculture publications, most of which are the only reliable source of information about particular crops in Uganda. Among the books that have been published are How to Grow Passion Fruit, How to Grow Popo, How to Grow Yams, and How to Grow Maize. For the first time in Africa, we have also made some agricultural DVDs where someone can sit at home and watch and acquire information on how to grow a crop. Every month we conduct agricultural seminars at the Kampala Coping Hotel. In each seminar we teach farmers about one particular crop that will give them all the information they need on how to grow it, how to manage it, and how to harvest and benefit from farming such a crop. We have community outreach programs and we have been to Mubende District, Mukono, Kayunga, and we are soon going to Mbara for sensitization of local farmers.